hi guys in this video we are going to have a deep dive a look into notebook lm from google and since uh, this is not a paid service as of now but soon enough you can expect google to put some charges on this and therefore we have an open source solution as well we are going to look at the open source solution as well which is the open notebook lm but first of all let's look at notebook lm from google so notebook lm is a personalized ai research assistant it's powered by google's most capable model known as gemini 1.5 pro it is amazing you can put in your pdfs you can put in google youtube links you can put in any text you can put in google slides google drive and it will give you so many different options it'll give you reply in different formats you can create notes with it let's go and see a few examples as you can see i have been playing with this notebook lm and it's amazing say if you have uh, say you have a, a paper which is difficult for you to understand then you put this paper in notebook lm and you get a deep type summary or anything that you want from this model from this setup so let me give you an example for example rag notebook so i have this loaded up all the files here and then we can do an audio overview which is like a two person conversation so you can i'll just play this for a while and you can see the quality of output is pretty amazing ever wonder how ai actually makes sense of the world yeah. like how it takes all this data and seems to like think right right today we're going beyond the hype yeah we're going to unlock that mystery and dive deep into retrieval augmented generation okay. or rag for short pretty good as you can see it starts in a very conversation mode and it makes everything pretty easy you can go and upload uh, as many as 50 sources and you can get the audio output or you can ask questions and whatnot another example for example i have this uh, pdf here and then i have this another audio you can see the starting of this audio this is again a retrieval augmented generation with Vercel. have you ever like gotten into one of those conversations with the chatbot and it just feels like kind of canned you know like it's just giving you these pre-programmed responses oh yeah as you can see it is pretty easily able to make us understand what a rag application is now this is just one feature of a podcast here but once you have uploaded this you can see that these are the suggested questions you can ask start typing here you can click on notebook guide and this is the interface that you have on the guide so let's click here for example what are the key components of retrieval augmented generation chatbot and how do they work together let me push this question and wait for a reply so as you can see we have this reply but the thing that i want to show you is that you can see these references that are mentioned here if you for example click on this seven number reference then it will locate the exact place where this thing has been mentioned so it highlights the sources as well and this is amazing this is just one feature of uh, what uh, i wanted to show to you but the another one is this audio and you can for example create a study guide so just click here and a new note will be created here with the study guide so this is notebook lm you can go and have a look so you can click on notebook lm you can start uh, click on the new notebook here and then you will have this interface where you can uh, paste in your sources here for example pdf text markdown audio example mp3 uh, we have we have uh, google drive google docs google slides for the link we have website link and youtube link and you can just copy paste the text as well we can add 50 sources as of now now if this is clear and we uh we know although this is great we know that this is going to be charged very soon 
Therefore, we want an open source solution. So if you go to Google and say open source notebook LM, we have this open source notebook LM or open notebook LM, which is used to convert any PDF into a podcast episode. For now, it's just PDF, but I think this is going to improve quite a lot. So what we can do here is that this project is inspired by the notebook LM and it implements it with open source LMs and text to speech models. This tool processes the contents of the PDF, generates a natural dialogue suitable for an audio podcast and output it as an MP3 file. So it can convert PDF to podcast, engaging dialogue and user friendly interface. So in order to run this, you can just get clone the repo here, uh, change the directory to that repo and create a virtual environment, install the required packages and uh, use the fireworks api key and run the python so we have fireworks uh, here which is used to host the open source llama 3.1405 billion model and it's amazing you can test this out uh, in the spaces as well hugging face spaces which is uh, hugging face spaces we have open notebook LM and uh, if you scroll to the bottom, you can see a few examples. For example, explain to me like I'm on five. So we upload this PDF here and then uh, we give this uh, specific question or topic in mind. Explain to me like five years old and then we can here uh, take a here at this podcast. Hey, Thomas, welcome to the show. Today, we are going to talk about your paper on distributed representations of words and phrases. Can you explain it to me like I'm five years old? <laughs> sure. So, you know how we use words to communicate, right? Like I'm talking to you right now using words, but computers don't understand words like we do. They just see a bunch of letters and- Pretty cool, not bad. I, You know, I like it, I like it. Next is uh, this one, so it's pretty much the same type of podcast. Hey Clement, welcome to the show. I have to say I'm loving the name Hugging Face. What's the story behind it? Ha, huh, well Jane, we started Hugging Face. For now we can use Notebook LM, but keep in mind the open source is available as well. For now it's just PDF, but we have other integration as well. Hey, if you're so confident, we can even send some edits and send some pull requests as well in order to merge your changes but let's see where this goes but we see that let's see where this goes but notebook lm it's best when you have less time to gather knowledge you can just play it in the podcast mode and do your other works so until then take a look at this video on how we can fine-tune the different models and uh, I will see you there. Bye.